Our Shock Mr. fans are going to watch something from the 80s that I've never seen before. It's called Delivery Boys. Let's check it out. All right, this movie is about breakdancing. There's going to be a big competition soon underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Mario Van Peebles is Spider. He heads the bad guys, the devil dogs. Spider threatens Angelina. No, there's the devil dog. She employs the delivery boys as delivery boys in her pizza parlor. He getting serious now. Seven guys. What do you want me to do? You keep your delivery boys from showing up at the contest. My guys can handle the other four with no problem. Now, I thought this was a sex comedy, and there was some aspect of that. This is a guy named Conrad. He's a rich boy. Apparently, he couldn't get it up with this girl. No. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking of you. That was obvious. That's Max and Izzy. You know I treat you right. Sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Who said he has some specimen over there? Max delivers a pizza to a fancy house. There's a wine bucket right near you. See it? Yeah, I see it. And he's instructed what to do by the woman in the bathtub in Toolbox Murders. She's apparently supposed to keep him there so he can't compete. Our rich kid Conrad decides to act as a delivery boy literally also. Certainly my dumpling. Conrad's delivering a pizza at an experimental lab, top secret government research. It's in a hospital somewhere. Just a minute. Where they promptly inject him with something. Marvelous. A lot go over the subject. Max is figuring out that he's trapped. What a nice pet you have. Meanwhile, back in the lab, they're bringing out some seductive nurses. I think they are trying to see if he can get an erection. Doesn't seem to be working yet. The lab guys bring in a singer to try to arouse him. In the rapture of your time. It worked! Boner! Max dresses up as a woman to try to escape the house. Runs into bad. Well, there was a, a glory hole and a dog and a licking, but he is managed to get out of the house. Kisses the real maid goodbye. And off he goes. Conrad's able to get out of the lab eventually, but he has a permanent boner. Perhaps it was a Viagra experiment. It's been over four hours, I think. But finally, the night of the contest. Max wants Izzy to dance. We ain't got enough without Conrad and Joey. Well, at one point, the two groups end up scuffling a bit on stage during their routines. When it looks like the delivery boys can't go on, Izzy joins the stage. The 
mentioned Conrad joins them and uh, another guy joins them that weren't in the original bunch. Our last scene in the movie is a cheesy song that plays over while the group is arm in arm, and they show some clips from the from the film. And apparently, it's our star Max singing the song. And that's our film. All right, let's talk about this movie, Delivery Boys. This one's kind of a head scratch for me because I don't understand how a movie like this gets made, where it comes from, who the intended audience was, uh, who the cast was. It's just a, um, not exactly sure why I have this in my collection either. I had no idea I had a breakdancing movie in my collection. Uh, this was the first time I'd seen this. I think I had looked back through my old cable guides and was looking for anything that if it ever came back again, I would acquire it. And I came across this movie listed somewhere and I thought, okay, I'll grab that. It sounded like it was probably just a, a teen sex comedy of some sort. I picked up the VHS tape at some point later on, maybe off of eBay or something. Never watched it. And now I have the Blu-ray and I watched it. Boy, okay. Um, the basic plot of this movie is there's going to be a breakdancing competition between a couple of groups. One is called the uh, Delivery Boys because they are literally pizza delivery boys, and uh, or at least some of the members of the group are. And they're going to be going up against the Devil Dogs, which was uh, led by a guy named Spider, uh, played by Mario Van Peebles, one of the only recognizable actors in this movie. Um, and they're going to be having this competition underneath the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. <sighs> The rest of the movie, weird. Um, there are certain spots where there's, you know, they break into breakdancing or they're practicing breakdancing, practicing their routine. Uh, but a lot of the times there's just little skits, if lack for a better word, of what's going on with these boys. Uh, we mostly focus on the delivery boys. There are some uh, threats from Mario Van Peebles uh, to uh, the delivery boys' uh pizza deli owner, uh, Angelina, saying, you know, I, you, just, you better keep your boys out of this competition sort of thing. But then we follow each of the boys around. One guy, Max, is kind of our main, main character. He has to deliver a pizza and he delivers it at this house and he gets seduced by the woman who lives there and then he has to dress like a woman to get out of there. There's a glory hole involved in that scene uh, and a dog. Um, uh, and then there's one guy who has to go to this art gallery and pose as some sort of nude model. Um, I don't think I showed you any of those scenes. And, uh, and then there's the weird scene where there's apparently this rich guy named Conrad Although we find out he's rich in the beginning of the movie, but they never even play on that the rest of the film. He's just a regular one of the delivery boy guys. Um, he delivers a pizza to this hospital where he gets sucked into some sort of experiment uh, in some laboratory where they try to give him an erection. Um, eventually they're able to do that when this woman sings to him. I don't know. This is a strange, strange film. Ultimately, the competition does occur at the end of the movie. And of course, our, uh, our delivery boys win. The last scene in the movie is uh, all the boys uh, arm in arm uh, just kind of looking up at the sky while their lead, Max, um, sings a song. <laughs> just this cheesy song. I don't know. It's a strange film. And that's how it ends. Um, Chuck, Chuck Vincent was one of the uh, executive producers of this movie. Um, and uh, he provided some of his... Uh, stable of porn stars to come make cameos if you notice there was like some 80s porn stars there samantha fox Veronica hart taja ray and a few others um oh the the woman who was seducing uh max um was the woman who was in uh two box murders in the beginning the woman in the bathtub she was a porn star also just a strange movie i don't know what to make of this one just some of the scenes were also like cut short it seems like they they had a little bit of dialogue and then they cut away before they actually expound on anything Weird film, but you know what? There's something about this movie. I think I, I was like six minutes into this, and I thought I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop this. I'll, I'll watch it maybe, but I'm not gonna review this movie because this, this is awful. It's shit. But it just, it, I guess I kept going with it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And then there's something about this that just kind of sucked me into it. I don't know what it is. Just this cast of nobodies. Um, it's almost like they said, hey, let's get some friends together and let's make a quick movie here. Were these really breakdancing people? I guess because they did have breakdancing ability. Um, and, but a lot of these people in this movie didn't do anything else. A few of them did, but most of them did not, as far as I could tell. The director only did one other thing, and that was 11 years earlier. Um, it's like a lost film. And uh, 
I don't know, just a weird, weird film. But I have a feeling I'm going to watch this again because there's something about it that's going to pull me in. I don't know if it's so bad it's good. Or it's just so bad it's but so bad it's entertaining. I don't know. Just a oh, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. I uh, yeah. How this ever got onto Blu-ray is a mystery to me. Also, I don't know. But uh, I'm glad I have it. I'm glad I watched it because it's an interesting film. It does, you know, I've always talked about the movie Cage Terror, which I reviewed in the past as being a so bad, it's so good. It's so bad, it's mesmerizingly bad, but entertaining because it's so bad. I, this one might be in the same boat. I, I enjoyed watching this. I really did. And I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's going to just pull me back at some point and watch it again. So anyway, curious if anybody else has seen Delivery Boys. If you look online, there's not a whole lot written about this on IMDb two people reviews and like five or six or seven critic reviews and um they're basically kind of saying the same thing i did one of them said this was the worst thing he's ever seen but a couple of other words were like you know what i i kind of get it i don't know <laughs> something about it something about delivery boys so there you go anyway that is it by the way director of this movie his name was i was it ken something ken handler he did uh most of the music in the film, too, and actually performed it. So, except for the last song. The last song, the cheesy song, Josh Marcano, our lead character, Max, was singing. Anyway, quite a film. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. See if I'm crazy or are we all crazy. Leave some comments. Watch it. Delivery Boys. Bye.